You're watching ABC4 News. Thanks for staying with us. At the southern border, thousands of migrants will continue to have their asylum claims in the U.S. delayed this after the Supreme Court voted to keep a pandemic-era health policy called Title 42 in place. ABC's Elizabeth Schulze has more from Washington. For thousands of migrants who have fled their countries, disappointment as lawful opportunities to claim asylum at the U.S. southern border remain on hold. This feels like a bucket of cold water, but we don't know what to do now, says this woman from Venezuela. The Supreme Court's ruling keeping a Trump-era COVID-19 policy known as Title 42 in place for now means migrants crossing into the U.S. can continue to be quickly expelled on the grounds of public health, denying asylum seekers the opportunity to plead their case. This man says, my dream is to cross to the other side. In a 5-4 decision, the Supreme Court handed a win to 19 states who claim ending Title 42 will lead to an overwhelming surge in migrants at the border. The court agreeing to hear arguments on the case in February, but also indicating the Biden administration can still end Title 42 on its own. The White House not yet making clear if it will do that amid other legal challenges to the policy. In the meantime, we have to enforce it, but I think it's overdue. Justice Neil Gorsuch joining the Supreme Court's three liberal justices in dissent, saying the current border crisis is not a COVID crisis, and courts should not be in the business of perpetuating administrative edicts designed for one emergency only because elected officials have failed to address a different emergency. The White House is also urging Congress to pass comprehensive immigration reform, a move that has gained little traction among lawmakers. Elizabeth Schulze, ABC News, Washington.